So silver definitely took a big hit today. In fact, as I record this video on June 20th of 2023, silver is down almost 80 cents an ounce, barely over $23 an ounce right now. A huge hit for a single day. And what I thought I would do is take this opportunity. I figure it's a perfect time to find out what premiums are doing because if silver is down and premiums are down, that is a opportunity for buying. But are they really? So what we're gonna do is call coin shops. We're gonna call local coin shops all over the US and find out what they are selling one ounce of rounds and bars for. Let's get them on the phone. My channel is sponsored by sdbullion.com. New customers can get their first order of gold or silver at spot by going to sdbullion.com forward slash new. Yeah, I was uh, hoping to get some prices on uh, some one ounce silver rounds or one ounce silver bars. How much are we selling them for? Correct, yes. Silver or gold? Silver. Uh, 27 dollars Is that for bars and rounds? No, I don't have the bar. I have the 10 ounce bar, yes. What, what the round I want. Uh, how much do you sell the 10 ounce for? Uh, 2700 27 You mean 270 Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you very much. All right. Bye. All right, coin shop number one, 27.50. As you can see, we have live spot prices down on the bottom of the screen, 23.23. So 27.50 is around $4.25 an ounce per spot, $3.75 an ounce per spot if you buy 10 ounce bars, um, but they didn't have any one ounce bars in stock. We're gonna call six total shops today though. That was just the first one. Let's get shop number two on the phone and see what they are selling one ounce of our rounds and silver bars for. Yeah, could you help me? I'm just trying to get some prices on like one ounce silver rounds or one ounce silver bars if you have them. Uh, sure, if if we were selling them to you, correct? Correct, yes. Okay, uh, the one ounce generic silver rounds are twenty seven fifty. Okay. And do you have uh, silver bars also? We have 10 ounce bars, so I don't have any one ounce. Okay, do the... 10 ounce bars would be... 272.46. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. All right, coin shop number two, same exact price of one ounce rounds. They didn't have any one ounce bars, uh, same as the other shop, but $4.25 roughly. Uh, we're just going to round it up. You can see live spot there. Uh, 27, uh, 272.46. So that's 27.24. So that's three. So they they probably had spot at twenty three twenty four, and they had twenty seven twenty four, uh, and you know they may have like a third number on the end of theirs. But either way, it sounds like that they are around four dollars an ounce over spot for silver uh, ten ounce silver bars, and then four dollars and twenty five cents an ounce over spot for uh, for the one ounce rounds. All right, so let's call shop number three and see what they have silver for. Hi, could you guys tell me if you have any one ounce silver rounds available and what you sell them for? Yeah, I have one ounce of rounds. They're 29. 29. Uh, do you have any one ounce bars or 10 ounce bars? Yeah, also bars. Okay, uh, same price. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, coin shop number three was a little bit pricier, $29 an ounce. It doesn't sound like they're really paying too much attention to spot. That would put them at around five seventy-five dollars over spot, no matter what it's for, one ounce rounds or 10 ounce bars. That guy also wasn't near as friendly as the first two shops, which, you know, it is what it is. I am calling them and taking their time, but I'm asking a very quick question that they should be answering probably 20, 30, 40 times a day or more, uh, depending on that shop. So, you know, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Anyway, we got three more shops to call, so let's get shop number four on the phone. Hey, could you tell me if you have any one ounce silver rounds or silver bars available? I know we have one ounce silver rounds. I can tell you what we have in bar form. Hold on one second. Silver rounds I have. Uh, silver bars, I have five ounce bars and some 10 ounce bars. Okay, so no one ounce bars? We haven't had, we have, some, yeah, we have not had one ounce bars in a very long time. The only time we get them is a handful at a time that come in and they go to miscellaneous. So it wouldn't be a product we carry regularly. Usually it's just the rounds. Okay. Uh, what do you sell the one ounce of rounds for today? Right now, if you were walking in, they cost you $26 and 56 cents a piece. Okay. And then are the five or 10 ounce bars any different? 
five out the ten ounces are twenty two sixty six ten, so you're looking at twenty six dollars and sixty one cents a piece. So they're a little bit more per ounce than the rounds. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Bye bye. Okay, so that one was a little bit different. They actually charged a little bit more for the 10 ounce bars as opposed to the one ounce rounds. So uh, only five cents more, it appears, but still more. Either way, the number overall was less. So 26.56 uh, puts them at around $3.25 or so over spot. Uh, maybe three dollars and thirty cents, whatever. That's actually really, really good. And just it looks like about five cents more per ounce for the ten ounce bar. So either way, that's cheaper than the other shops that we have called so far. But we have two other shops to call, so let's get them on the phone and see what they have. Yeah, do you guys have any uh, silver rounds, one ounce silver rounds or silver bars available? Uh huh. We do. Uh, could you tell me what they sell for? It uh, just depends on what you want. And, just you know, just your... generic, like the cheapest ones you have. Uh, I don't think we have any generic. Oh, okay. Nothing generic. Okay. All right. Well, thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Okay, so coin shop number five didn't have any generics in stock. It sounded like they did have some stuff available, um, but not generic rounds like buffaloes or things like that. So we couldn't really get a price from them. Um, we're going to call shop number six, though, and see what they have to say, and then we will do a wrap-up. Uh, yeah, could you tell me if you have any one-ounce silver rounds or silver bars available? Uh, bars and rounds. Okay. Uh, what do you sell them for today? Twenty-six fifty. Twenty-six fifty. Okay. Now, do you have any, like, one-ounce or ten-ounce bars, or is it just rounds? Uh, I have plenty of one ounce bars and I have five ounce bars. I am sold out of ten ounce. Uh, no problem at all. Is the price? I, I do keep them. Is the price different on uh -huh. those? It's the same. All right, awesome. Except Thank for the hundred ounce goes down. The hundred ounce goes down, right. but everything else is the same. All uh huh. Right. All right, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. You bet. Have okay. a good day. You too. Okay, and coin shop number six, uh, also pretty good, twenty six fifty across the board. Actually, that's the best one on my list. But again, you know, with spot variants, they could be the exact same premium as shop number four. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all the numbers on the screen and do a quick wrap up. All right, so we have all the numbers up on the screen, and I know you guys have actually been seeing those numbers update as we call each shop going through, but this is the first time I've seen them. Now, I will say that with silver bars, we originally were calling to get the prices on one ounce silver bars, but almost no shop had them in stock. So the, that number right there basically is representing 10 ounce silver bars. Uh, the numbers could be a little bit skewed just in case, you know, one shop gave me one ounce bar prices, but you get the idea. That I wanna start off by focusing on shops four and six. This is what I'm really starting to see across the board. I know shops one, two, and three didn't really show that, uh, but shops four and six, I'm starting to see a lot of premiums on generic one ounce rounds start to fall under $4 an ounce over spot. And I think that number is gonna keep going down. Now, unfortunately the average, and we'll show you the averages here in a second, on these phone calls are above $4 still because of shops one, two, and three, 425, 425, and then shop three at 575. I almost didn't wanna put their numbers in the average because it was high. It was so much higher than the other shops, but we did call them, they did give us the number. 575 is what they had. We just would not go to that shop. We would call around and look for shops like four and six. Now, I generally don't predict silver markets or prices on this channel. We just talk about responsible buying, keeping you informed. However, I will say that I am expecting, hopefully, this is not a guarantee. I could be wrong. It could turn around on me. But I'm expecting to see if things keep going the way they are for premiums to drop under $3 an ounce very, very soon, hopefully within the next month. Now, if we can keep silver prices down along with premiums being down, that is going to present a very, very good opportunity to add more silver to your stack for less fiat currency, which is what most of us want. I know some people wanna see silver skyrocket, but for me, I wanna keep adding to that pile. So if I can buy silver and add it to my stack, 
for less than $25 an ounce, like let's say silver gets to, you know, below 22 and the premiums get under three, that puts us at under $25 an ounce for silver rounds. That would be awesome. I would love to see it. I would love to lower my cost average down if I, I think that would lower my cost average. I'm not sure. But either way, I would be really, really happy to see those numbers come down. So like I said, here are the averages. If we look at the average for silver rounds of $4.16 an ounce over spot, which is actually still lower than shops one and two, that shows you how much shop number three brought that average up so if you took that if if you took that shop out of there the average would actually be under four dollars an ounce uh, per shop for sure same goes with silver bars at an average of 402. so with all of that said what does that tell us well i kind of already said that i see premiums coming down and the reason premiums are coming down we've said this in a few videos is demand is definitely falling now it could be a testament to a number of things many people have commented saying people are hurting financially right now which i totally agree with however if you think about back in march people were hurting back in march too the inflation and everything else going on didn't start this month uh and march was one of the busiest if not the busiest month ever for silver stacking so uh, yes, that definitely could be a testament to that, but I think there's a lot more to it. I think overall we're just going into the summer months and people are just not as focused on silver because on top of summer, on top of vacations, people selling silver for you know to pay for vacations or whatever it may be, uh, we are additionally seeing the fears reside a little bit in the markets. You saw the US dollar index go up today and additionally you have not seen a whole lot of news on banking failures. I'm not saying that those things aren't happening or they aren't going to happen, but the news has not been covering them. And it's very important to keep that distinction because when it's not on top of people's minds, they tend to get comfortable and they tend to forget about things. And I'm telling you, uh, you should definitely take, in my opinion, and keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so you should really do your own research and talk to a financial advisor. But what I'll say is what I am going to be doing if we see premiums continue to drop like this is adding more to my stack. I would love to know what you guys are going to do, though. So do me a favor. Let me know in a comment down below. Uh, and I would love to see your guys' opinions. Other than that, listen, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to put a video up here. If you want to see how I traded a Silver Eagle for a shirt... You should check out that video right now. And as a hint, yes, I did way overpay, but it was still really cool and a great story. All right, guys, thank you again, and we will see you next time.